Hello everyone. Welcome to the 18th edition of Yarny Good News, YGN. This is Kim, your new host holding down the fort for Madonna. Hi everyone. It's Kim from Affordably Crafty. And this is my first time hosting Yarny Good News. This is number 18. Thanks for joining me everyone. So as many of you know, I am holding down the fort for Madonna until she is ready to come back. So welcome to this edition of Yarny Good News. Um, the days today are International Country Music Day, Constitution and Citizenship Day, and for food, it's Apple Dumpling Day and Poor Poor Day. So I am gonna be posting these on Thursday, um, as usual, like Madonna did. But I am going to be making my video on Wednesday night after my kids are asleep. So if you could please email me any information you'd like me to include, um, including lives, um, giveaways, giveaway winners, um, other contests or community things that you'd like me to announce. Um, by 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday because when I get home, I'm going to be putting together all the information to film after my kids go to sleep. So I really would appreciate that. My email is affordablycrafty at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy to be doing this for the Yarny community. Um, all right, some announcements. Gary from Urban Yarn has his first pattern tutorial up, and it's really nice. It's called the Festive Dragon Chevron Scarf. Um, and it's a free pattern tutorial for all of the wonderfulness that the yarning community has brought to him. And I will put the link down below. Um, please go and check it out. Um, the Crotchety Clogger has a winner for her 900 subscriber giveaway and it's eight smiley lady. Congratulations. She also won my 500 subscriber giveaway. So she's one lucky lady. That's awesome. And she is also the Crotchety Clogger having a 1,000 subscriber celebration live stream on Thursday, September 24th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. She is getting together party favors now. Email Marianne with any suggestions. Sandy A. at Crochet at Canada is doing Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook, which sounds really good and I'm hoping to participate in. Um, it's for YouTube content creators only that have videos up. So you have to be a content creator and you have to have videos up on your page. Um, there's gonna be a Furls Hook Journal and Wipes and it's going to go around from creator to creator. You're gonna have two weeks to make something with the hook. Um, make a project, do a video about it, what you made and thought of the hook. Post a pic on the Crochet A Facebook page and write in the journal about the project hook and what they thought. Then they're going to sanitize the hook and send it back in the mail to the next participant. So it looks really fun. I've never used a furls hook before, so that would be cool. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, you can email email Sandy at crochetcanada at gmail.com. I will put her email down below and a link to the video explaining the sisterhood, brotherhood of the traveling hook. Really good idea. Um, birthdays. If anybody would like me to announce their birthday on YGN, please either comment down below or email me at affordablycrafty at gmail.com and I will start a list. I don't have any for this week because I don't have a list yet. Um, the Triple C and Joe Show recently announced that OVW, One Virtuous Woman, lost everything in the California fires. Anything will help. They have a video explaining exactly where to send things and what they're looking for, and I will link that down below. Um, but the least we can do is go and subscribe to her channel. Um, so I will link her channel down below also. That's One Virtuous Woman. Fun online activity going on the next couple weekends is haveaballfallcrawl.com. Um, you can visit 36 shops across America virtually, um, and it is ru running Friday to Sunday, September 18th to 20th, and 25th to 22nd. It's on Zoom, and there is a schedule online, um, so I'm going to be checking some of those shops out. There's some in 
America, Canada, and I can't remember if there's any other countries represented, but it looks really cool. So they're going to be presenting from their stores. I will link that down below. Have a ball, fall, crawl .com. Um, There's some fiber arts days coming up in October. October 1st is Spinning and Weaving Week, and October 10th is I Love Yarn Day. So a lot of these activities are celebrated on the Fiber Arts Facebook page um, that is run by Dina. So I will link that page down below. It's a really good um, place to find activities in the fiber arts community. Um, and it's all about building up the fiber arts. So I will link the fiber arts Facebook page, promoting fiber arts Facebook page down below. Please go check it out if you haven't already. For a deal alert for this week, we have yarnnut.com which I'm going to link down below, is having a secret sale for YouTube friends. If you type in the code YouTube, all in caps, at checkout, you get 30% off all orders through 930. And I asked Gia, and she said this is also valid on the new um, mystery bags that she has online. She has them, I think, in one pound and two pound increments. There's two different sizes, a small and a large. And I believe that they have wool and no wool as options. So go check that out. I haven't gotten any yet, but I can't wait to try them. Um, so yeah, yarnnut.com, including their mystery bags. 30% off all orders through 9.30. Awesome. And then for giveaways, if anybody is having any giveaways they would like me to announce, please again email me by Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so I can get that in at night. New or struggling channels. Um, Yarn Geek, Ginger, um, she's at 770 subs. So she's doing okay, but let's try and get her numbers up a little bit more. Um, she also has been doing a live at 5 a.m. every day of the week, and she is in Central Standard Time. So live at 5 with Ginger on Yarn Geek. 5 a.m. Central Standard Time every day, seven days a week. <laughs> so I have been joining in um, on the weekdays because I'm up for work at that time. But you should really check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's a good coffee talk community. Um, and then there's Alt Knots, um, who has 547 subs. But coming up on the Halloween season, she is going to be having at least a video a day, if not more. Um, during her busiest season. So check that out. She also has a giveaway right now that's open till 920 for unfortunately U.S. residents only, um, but it is a yarn giveaway. So I will link that video down below also. And that's Alt Knots, K-N-O-T-S. Another addition to the live streams that's going to be happening in the Yarny community is on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mimi's Crafty Crojo will be doing a live, and I will have all the lives listed down below, including the two new ones that I mentioned today, which is Yarn Geek Live at 5 a.m. Central Standard Time, seven days a week, and Mimi's Crafty Crojo Live Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So those are my announcements for today. Um, for the prayers, what I am going to be doing is I have put the names in this copper bowl, and I will just be having a moment of reflection and prayer for all of these people to be healed and given what they need um, by the powers that be. So I will link down below the prayer list specifically, but I am just going to have a moment of silence and positive energy um, for the people that are on the healing list. So if you would just have a moment of silence with me and, and have positive energy and prayers for them, I would appreciate it. And this is how we're going to be doing the prayers moving forward while I'm hosting. Um, Thank you. And hopefully all that positive energy and healing prayers gets to those who need it. Um, so that's all I have for this YGN number 18. Please use the hashtag Yarny Good News. Um, and I'll see you back here again on Thursday. And again, if you have any info you'd like me to talk about, 
please email me at affordablycrafty at gmail.com by Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a creative week, everyone. Bye.